Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at writing expressions from context, okay? And this time we're looking at AX plus BY. Okay, so last time we was working with Y equals MX plus B, and we were focused on the MX plus B part and how I told you to switch it around and put the B equals MX and go from context. Well, this is similar to a previous linear function that we looked at before, which is AX plus BY equals C, okay? But we're only working or looking at this part here. Okay, so what we're going to do today is learn how to interpret it in context and we're going to plug in some values and solve some real world problems. So let's take a look at our first example. All right, so Isaac made a note, Isaac made note of all the bicycles and cars he could see parked on a lot on a certain city block. All the cars had exactly four wheels and all the bicycles had exactly two wheels. How many wheels were on the block if there were seven bicycles and four cars? How many wheels were on the block if there were X bicycles and Y cars? So what we need to do is figure out the total number of wheels and we need to figure out uh, the expression for those to find those total number of wheels. Okay? So let's take a look. So this one's a little tricky because usually when you work word problems, they don't they give you all the numbers you need. But sometimes you have to do a little bit of thinking. Okay? And we're gonna start off with that expression that was given to us, that AX, change that. AX plus BY, okay? And the A and the B are the constant, and the X and the Y are the variables. So they already told us what the X is gonna represent. The X is gonna represent, let's use some colors here. X is gonna represent bicycles, and Y is gonna represent cars, okay? And we need to figure out what's the constant that we're going to use for these variables. So what we're going to do is set up the equation first. I'm going to do the second part first here. We're going to plug in the values that we need. So the X, it represents the, the number of bicycles you plug in, and we're trying to figure out the wheels, right? Well, with bicycle, how many wheels on a bicycle? Two. So we'll have um, two. Let me change color. And how many wheels on a car? Four. All right? And we're going to multiply it times the number of bicycles we have, X, and the number of cars we have, Y and add those two together. That's what we're going to do. And this is your expression that you type in right here. Alright, now that we have that, we can figure out the actual answer just by plugging in the values of the numbers here. So how many bicycles do we have? We have seven bicycles. And how many cars do we have? We have four cars. I'm going to plug those values in to not our equation, but our expression here. And put parentheses around this. So then we work it out. So we do 2 times 7, which is 14. And 4 times 4, which is 16. We add the two together and we get 30. So the total number of wheels is 30. If you have seven bicycles and four cars. All 
right, let's take a look at another example. Okay, you could pause the video here and see if you'd like to solve it on your own. Alright, so Twiston wants to buy pears and apples to make a fruit tart. Pears cost $4.50 per pound and apples cost $2.25 per pound. How much does he how much does he spend if he buys two pounds of pears and three pounds of apples? And how much does he spend if he buys X pounds of pears and Y pounds of apples? So they give you an X and a Y to use here. So we're going to start off, what we always start off with here, are A, X, plus B, Y. And a lot of times, uh, you don't always use X or Y. You want to use, like, something that makes sense in context. So, since, for example, um, we're talking about pears and apples, well, instead of using um, X or Y, we might use P and A. So, Keep that in mind in case you see a different problem down the road. But on this one, we're going to have AX plus BY. So we've got to figure out what we're multiplying X by and what we're multiplying Y by. Uh, X is for the pears and Y is for the apples. Well, the pears cost $4.50. So we're going to multiply that times 450. And the apples cost $2.25 per pound. So we plug it in X pairs and Y for apples. Okay, and that's the expression we're going to use here. 450 X plus 2 25 Y. Now all we gotta do is plug in for this particular situation um, the number of pounds of apples and pears to go by. Okay, so how much does he spend if he buys two pounds of pears and three pounds of apples? So we're gonna plug in two and three. So then we just solve it, and we have 450 times 2, which is 9, plus 225 times 3, which is 675, and then add the two together, we get 1575. And that's it. This is a uh, writing expression for context with AX plus B. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.